welcome to The Drum Show. My name is Chris Quinlan and I'm carrying along with Frank Zappa month. It's 2013 and it's the 20th anniversary of his passing of the on the 4th of December 1993 but the 21st of December is his birthday. Happy birthday Frank and I've pulled out all my paraphernalia to set up this little shot for you and tonight's uh, little installment um, is all about Frank Zappa's work with the Sinclavia or uh, as some people pronounce it the Sinclavia and uh, the I call it the Sinclavia which is the Australian way of doing it I suppose uh, but what goes on is that um, the Sinclavia is uh, it was an incredibly expensive around about a quarter of a million dollars I believe in the 1980s that could uh, was one of the first uh, synthesizers that could faithfully reproduce uh, uh, orchestras, orchestral sounds, lots of anything that you put into it. Things that we pretty much take for granted today. You could also uh, write advanced notation on it uh, in the day in the 1980s. Notational software for computers was in its infancy, so. Um, yeah, I remember spending three thousand dollars myself on um, some uh, computer software that, by today's stand standards, would be equivalent to say grade one <laughs> sort of thing. It probably would have been better spent on uh, more drums, perhaps. But anyway, what I want to talk about is uh, the Sinclavier work that Frank Zappa was famous for. So much so that he's, oh, pardon me, his Jazz from Hell album. Uh, of 1986 received a Grammy Award. Frank Zappa himself actually wondered out loud whether the people who granted him the award um, actually ever listened to it as best rock instrumental album because uh, there's not a lot of rock on it. It's mostly all his more his classical kind of compositions. So I just want to backtrack also with tonight at tonight's episode in the sense of what got Frank to this point of using a Sinclavier. Uh, 